All right, it's finished. Let's go check it out. All right, the attic's done. I uh, took me a while, just finished alphabetizing the record, so I figured it's done at this point. Just start, I'm just gonna do a quick panoramic type thing here. And then I'll kind of quickly run through everything. All right, so um, I guess just starting over here, uh, this was uh, from the Breakers tour this last year. We got uh, autographed poster, I guess, when we went and saw them, and it's kind of cool. Anyways, it was a great show. Uh, Casey Musgraves, Little Big Town, and Midland, and. Uh, I was fairly surprised by it. I kind of went there and I liked this group, but I uh, wasn't expecting much from Little Big Town and Casey Musgraves, uh, but was really just uh, blown away by it. So, I don't know, pretty cool. Uh, this is my Iced Earth and uh, autographed sign, me with the band. The little VIP meet and greet thing here. It was kind of fun. Me and a buddy from when we were up and living up in Denver did this. Uh, Let's see. So this is my bookshelf number one here, basically. Just a bunch of fantasy. Uh, some of it red, maybe. Uh, a quarter of this red. Um, just kind of quickly running through this. Sci-fi fantasy. This is my uh, marble collection. Kiddo been just carrying this damn heavy jar of marbles around forever. Don't know what to do with them, but big, huge Sherman's Lagoon fan. I hate to admit that, but I am. Calvin and Hobbes, complete. That's a great series. I'm taking my time reading that, just little bits here at a time. Uh, don't own a lot of DVDs. No reason to for me, anyways. Uh, Half of these I could get rid of. But, uh, the main ones I do own are music DVDs, um, ones that I'll tend to watch over and over. That T25 is working real good right now. Um, if I was to turn this camera around, you'd see how well it's working. Neither bar for laugh. I don't know. So here's my records recently alphabetized. I have a ton of my cassettes. I've got to get something. I think I have a couple hundred stashed in there. I've got to build or buy a tape holder to get them out of that. Um, so these KISS uh, collectibles, <laughs> all my friends call them dolls, but anyways, I end up adding lights to them. I don't know if you can see them very well. Little spotlights. Uh, these are nano spotlights from Fright Props. Uh, Real inexpensive but bright. Looks better at night, so maybe I could let's see, let's see if that does any better. So that's that. Um, Dwight Yoakam three pairs thing that came with the CD when you ordered it. Kind of cool. Then over to my CD, I had to build this top part of it because it ran out of room. Um, Swanson. This is my Ibanez hollow body guitar. Music biographies. Really love those. Historical items. Books, not items. Uh, a few Stephen King books. A Taylor. Everybody wants to throw away this Sully, but I won't throw it away. 
not like I'm a huge Monsters fan or anything like that, but I just hate to get rid of it. I don't know what it is, but these are some paintings I got from uh, Todd Lockwood, and I ordered them, and he signed them. Didn't ask for that, but I just thought they'd be cool prints. And I really learned something on this was that when you go to to uh, God dang that glare is bad. Um, when you go to have something print uh, framed. Uh, it is so expensive. It's more expensive than your prints will ever be and uh, So I learned that the hard, the hard way, but That's from spine of the world uh, when Wolfgar really went into a drunken stupor and kind of lost his way um, Yeah, and when you look in these paintings, there's all sorts of kind of neat things about the books that you'll find and I'm like this little guy hidden right there, which you can't see. And Montolio and the bear and Al. But those are from the Dritz books, uh, which I'm not done with, but uh, have enjoyed those. Um, my last little shelf here, got this shelf for $40, had to do a little repair on it. Uh, this is the next book I'm reading, The Astounding. Can't wait to get to that. Um, There's just some other books I've got going. These are some of my comics to be read. I've got uh, Dan Brereton's The Sinister Path, another Nocturnals book. Uh, Daredevil, some Swamp Things, and uh, a book on Sanibel Island, which shouldn't be down there. But anyways, last area is this little desk area I created. I had to build a desk to fit in here. Um, so I made that anyways these are the Dan Brereton prints uh, I got off of his uh, Kickstarter and basically got this cool packet and then he would sketch one picture for you of one of the Nocturnals characters I had him do Gunny and uh, that's that right there kind of cool And then here's the desk. <laughs> it's kind of nasty looking, but just used three pieces of wood and used a little uh, pocket hole jig and joined them together and then used some nice uh, black plumbing pipe to make the legs. So made it to fit in there. And a Gundam picture got somewhere. So. Anyways, that's it, y'all. Now it's time to sit back and uh, enjoy it. Do some reading. Let's do some vinyl. Have a good weekend.